All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rechakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect. All right. And uh, I'm going to just jump straight to it. Uh, this is uh, going to be brief, but Lord willing, edifying. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with 2 Ezra 15. All right, 2 Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. All right. So it said, speak thou in the ears of my people. All right. And who are, who are the Lord's people? All right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, which make up uh, the nation of Israel, all right? Those are the Lord's uh, chosen people, man, okay? And he said, to speak uh, the words of prophecy, okay? So, as the times of old, which uh, I, I might as well grab that, Jeremiah 28 and 8, but uh, as, as uh, times of old, man, you know, the Lord set up men, all right, prophets, all right, to prophesy, man, okay? Uh, since I quoted them, uh, let's go ahead and grab it. All right, this is Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay? So, right, man. And those same prophets through the spirit of back once again, man. All right? America, all right, which is known in the scriptures as Babylon the Great. All right? Is, that, is, is a great kingdom. Is it not? You know what I'm saying? Which the, the, the ruler of this present age, or which is Esau, the so-called white man, this is his kingdom, okay? And the scriptures refer to this place as Babylon the Great, man. Great confusion, all right? The sinful kingdom, okay? And, you know, it's prophesied that this place is going to be destroyed, man, but because uh, wickedness has exceeded unto the heavens, man. Okay? So the most high power is not for this place, man. All right? You know? But right. You know? Those same prophets starting are uh, uh, here again, man, which through the Spirit, man, are uh, starting with the, the, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. Okay? Through the Spirit, all right? You can accept that or not. All right? But the point is, the Lord always had the servants, his servants, the prophets, out prophesying against great kingdoms, man. Okay? So, back in 2 Ezra 15, it said, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people uh, the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right? So the word of the Most High Power is, uh, is faithful and true, man. All right? There's no, uh, there's no error within the scriptures, man. Okay? There's no con contradictions, all right? The Lord say he's going to do something, you know, throughout history. Has he, ha has he, have, it, uh, has he have not done it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? This, this word is, 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 is true, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? What's that in uh, Hebrews? It says the word of the Most High is uh, powerful than any two-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? But the point being, you know what I'm saying? The uh, the words of prophecy, this word that the Most High power is true, man. All right, and what I'm leading into is the, the current times that we're in, man. All right, we seeing prof prophecies unfolding as we, you know, move day to day, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? We in that time of, uh, of, of this place coming towards a, a, a downfall, man. Okay? So, 
Um, since I'm here, uh, so one of the scriptures I had, uh, Matthew 24, all right, uh, which this is the Lord Yahweh Shah, okay, you know what I'm saying? Who the uh, world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus, all right, his real name is Yahweh Shah, all right, the Savior and Deliverer of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, the nation of Israel, okay? So, um, this is uh, Matthew 24 and and uh, 32, all right? Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is not, all right? So like, so likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors, all right? So basically, the Lord is, 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 is explaining, you know, how, how you can, you know what I'm saying, uh, measure the times, man, of his, uh, you know, of his return, man, all right? You know, the Lord uh, said there was going to be certain chain of events to unfold in, uh, you know what I'm saying, before he returns, man, all right? You know what I'm saying? These series of events, man, all right, that's going to take place throughout the earth, all right, to let us know what the, the time it is, man, all right? You know what I'm saying? Earthquakes, which I'm going to grab scriptures, you know, going into that uh, as well, but uh, earthquakes, uproars of the people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, turmoil, uh, uh, rumors of war, all right? All, all of these different things, are they not happening now, man? At a uh, at a rapid rate, you know what I'm saying? You know, and one of the major, uh, you know, things is the chip, all right, which is the uh, mark of the beast in Revelation uh, 13 chapter, all right, which, you know what I'm saying? We seeing that, that's uh, being implemented you know what I'm saying? Out there in uh, Sweden, for instance, man. All right? It's a big deal out there in Sweden where they uh chipping people, man, and pushing that whole, you know, uh, thing about uh, uh, the convenience of having a chip, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? It's making major headlines, man. All right? We, these things were prophesied to happen, man. These are the times that we in, man. All right? Uh, so yeah, going to uh, Second Ezra's, Second Ezra's nine and one. All right. And like I said, I'm just, you know, trying to get straight to the point. All right. So uh, bear with me, um, Salakia. This is uh, Second Ezra's nine and one. All right. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So, right there, man, measure thou the time, okay? Uh, when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, okay? So, right, we ought to measure, measure the times, man, all right? As the Lord said, you know. Um, verse 3, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, all right? Uproars of the people, all right? You got all types of different uh, protests, taking place man china you know what i'm saying in the middle east all right you know what i'm saying throughout the uh throughout the uh earth man in these different nations man they uh the people are uh riling up man rising up against the uh the, the, the uh government power man all right um therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee. 
even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have the beginning and an end, and the end is made and the end is manifest. Alright? Right. So right, man. With all these different things, uh, you know what I'm saying, taking place at this time, man, is letting us know that we are approaching that that end, man. The end of what? The end of uh, Esau's rule, man, the so-called white man, all right? The end of the wicked, uh, wicked uh, rulership, man, okay? We seeing these things unfold, man, all right? You know what I'm saying? But two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, are blinded, man. Y'all at ease, man. Y'all still have trust in it. In, 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 in this society, man. Y'all still have trust in Esau's system, okay? You know? Y'all falling for the, for the, uh, you know what I'm saying? For the trap, so to speak, man. For lack of a better word, man. All right? That's why, you know, Esau is pushing heavily conditioning, you know what I'm saying? The convenience of, uh, you know, of accepting that chip, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? And two thirds of our people, let alone these uh these uh these heathens, these drones, all right, but you know, focusing in on Jake, all right, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna be willing to, to uh bow down and take it, man. All right. Cause they uh they, they still have trust in the Esau system, man. They not taking heed to the signs of, of what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake is out here. Uh, acting a fool because the the uh, the fucking Astros won the uh, World Series, man. You know what I'm saying? And whatever form of a bread and circus that this devil throws out, that's the mind frame that our people are caught up in, man. You know, they're not looking forward to these prophecies. They're not looking forward to this, man. All right? You know? But, uh... Right. Second Ezra was nine and uh four. Then thou shalt well, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had the beginning and an end, and the end is made manifest. Okay. Uh. Verse 6 says, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings in effect in effects and signs. Alright. Uh, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils. All right. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures speak about the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. So, which is, uh, you know, martial law, famine. All right. Uh, you know, pestilence, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? And also, real quick, what just came to mind, man, and, and which is also prophesied, uh, which we you know, seeing taking place is the economy, man, all right, the, uh, if you look at the economic, uh, economic state of Babylon, man, you're seeing this on the verge of, uh, plummeting, man, you know what I'm saying, why, why you think all of these major chains, all these major, uh, 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 uh businesses are shutting, down, shutting their doors, man, all right, you know what I'm saying, you know, that's, you know what I'm saying, also prophesied to happen, man. Another sign, man, okay? As it says in uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, uh, the 12th chapter, all right, where the, uh, the grinding shall cease, man, all right? So the work is, is, is becoming scarce, man, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you got uh, top guys... That that uh you know what I'm saying. That that study the uh 
the economy, all right, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they analyzing what's going on and saying, yo, we on the verge of uh, another Great Depression, man, you know what I'm saying, all right, this place is just running off of debt, man, you know what I'm saying, and there's no recovery, man, for this place, man, all right, Babylon, uh, America is on a rapid decline, man, all right, you know, and, uh, right, the said perils, man, famine, pestilence, plague, all right, uh, uh martial law, man, all right, all hell is gonna break loose out here, man, okay, but, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, it says, Second Ezra 9 and 7, And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning. All right, which is talking about uh, the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, two thirds of our people they're gonna they're gonna fall along with this place, man. All right, they're gonna be put to death right along with Esau, man. All right, these other heathens, okay. You know, cause they don't have faith in Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. All right, and it you know ultimately it wasn't you know meant for them. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man. Okay. Right, that was pretty much the point, man. Okay. So, what times are we in? All right, we in the time of uh, of the, you know, the father Esau's rule, man. The father of this kingdom, man. All right. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. All right. You know what I'm saying. So, with that, man, you know. Hey, it's, you know, uh, it's going to pick up even more, man. It's, it, it is picking up, you know what I'm saying, the, the rate at which things are going, all right? You know what I'm saying? All types of things are happening through the spirit, man, all right? Letting us know uh, we're getting closer toward our, our salvation, man, our deliverance out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? For those uh, for those that have the spirit to see, who the Lord have mercy to, to get a uh, get a spirit to, all right, to observe in a uh, measure of the times, all right, and to have that that uh, faith, continue to have it, all right, you know. So uh, that's all I wanted to uh, you know bring out. Uh, hopefully it was edifying, all right. Um, with that, once again, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. By Shemr Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect. All right, uh, with that, Shalom.